silly man you are in your own church the church lives within you yeah the church lives within you so it doesn't mean every sunday you have to go to the church for people to see hey, sunday i've gone to church that's hypocrisy do the right thing do the right thing as i said even some of them have even seen a girl in the church that is why the person is even going to the church because you've seen a nice girl in the church because every sunday yeah man the church lives between you you are your own church do the right thing when you wake up pray to god pray for help pray for help pray for long life that's the most important thing the others is bonus when somebody gives you money is bonus when you get money when you become rich is bonus but the most important thing is just pray for long life health because if you have money and you are sick you cannot enjoy your money if you are rich and you are sick you cannot enjoy your money people will enjoy it for you so when you wake up every morning thank god for your life pray for long life pray for health so every time you'll be healthy and when you are healthy and you work that is where the riches come if you're an athlete you pray for health when you train and then you go and you play the more you play with health that is where the contract comes that is where people see you and then you can make money out of it it doesn't mean you have to go to church to go and sit down with hypocrisy yeah you can go to the church and listen to the word of god but listen to what the the pastor says the wise ones you don't go to church for church sake when you read the bible you take what will benefit your life and then you work towards it that is how we live you understand uh -huh. if you know this is not right for you don't do it if you if you know this is right for you do it you don't have to be hypocrite and say oh every sunday every sunday is a must every sunday you are going to church and then after church then what after church then you come home and then you start insulting elderly people and then you start disrespecting people and then you say you go to church yeah church is for morals when you go to church you listen to the pastor you listen to the good ones morals so it can benefit your life you understand yeah so when you sit down and you you write negative comments about me i don't watch you you watch me right because you i don't know you so if you write negative comment about me or if you write any negative comment you are watching me i don't watch you you understand you know who i am that is why you you write a lot of things uh -huh. you write a lot of negative stuff because i'm somebody you are not so you have to pray to become somebody that is how social media works social if not because of social media somebody will not even come and write a negative comment on my page you understand uh -huh. so me i've built my legacy Mm -hmm. i pray to almighty god i do the good thing that is why i am where i am in life luck can work like 10 percent in your life the rest is hard work and dedication so if you come and write negative comments then you have to work on your life because i don't have time to come and write negative comments it's frustration so you have to work on that so that you can build all this frustration when you are in your office and you are working hard you come and write any negative comments those who write positive things because they know their life they want to be positive in life that is why they write positive things yes when you write negative things it means your life is negative so everything is about everything about you is negative yes so every time i say unto you think positive People make mistakes, but you always have to think positive about your life. 
so that when even family meetings they can even call you to family meetings which means you are very important you understand uh -huh. that is what you have to do pray and succeed so that when they are calling family meetings they can even call you which means you are important if they call family meetings and they don't call you then you have to work on your life it doesn't mean you have to go to church every Sunday, blah, 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 blah. You go and listen, and then after you come and do different, 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 unnecessary things. Yep. So, today is Sunday. If you can go to church, go. Go and pray for long life. Yep. Go and pray for long life. Pray for help. And then, money... And success is bonus that will come later when you have the health and when you have good heart all this will come naturally you work you dedicate yourself to everything today is Sunday everybody knows, knows today is Sunday we're in the world of technology when you have work to do work when somebody calls you hey I need this from your shop Go and give it to the person. Don't tell the person to wait. You are going to church. You will lose your job. When you have a shop and somebody wants to buy something, take care of the person so you can get money for yourself. It doesn't mean you have to go to church and leave what you have to buy or what you have to sell to the person. On, because it's Sunday, you tell the person, I'm going to church so the person should wait. When the person waits, you will lose money. The person will go to another shop to go and buy. And then you will lose money. All because of church. I'm not saying you shouldn't go to church. But think about yourself first. Do the right things first. God knows your heart first. You hear me? God knows your heart. So if you don't go to church on Sunday, it doesn't mean you are evil. You are not evil. Do the right thing. When you have some and somebody doesn't have it and you feel you can give the person give the person give the less privilege so that the person can also bless you because the person cannot work when the person cannot work every positive thing that the person says onto your life happens the person who is crippled who is on the road who cannot work when you give and the person say god bless you it means the person cannot work so all the positive all the positive energy will come onto your life it doesn't mean you have to go to church to go and give it to somebody and then the person will come and then you will tell the whole world and the person will be saying a lot of things and i'm at all benz and i'm at all rose royce and i'm at all way the person is mocking you you don't know true talk when you have money and you feel you can donate, give it to the less privileged. Give it to the less privileged. Today is Sunday. Do the right thing. Let your heart be clean. Don't think evil about anybody. I'm speaking to you as my brother and my sister. Today is Sunday. I'm preaching, right? Everything I'm saying is life. It's philosophy about life. I know why I'm saying that. Because it has happened in my life. So I have to share it to you. When you are there and somebody is less privileged, they are the people you can donate to because they cannot work. Because they don't have the ability to work. So when you donate to them, Everything they say is from their heart because they know they, are, they cannot work. Everything they say happens in your life. Because the person cannot work, you've helped the person. Risky boy. My man, Dr. Pounds. When you feel today you can go to church, you can go to church, sit down, listen to the gospel, take the good ones, and it will necessarily to go to church every Sunday every Sunday yeah. and then you go bang 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 that was why last time I showed you my susu 
the susu can do something in your life. Those who say, uh, uh, um, those who say, uh, because I have it, I can do susu every time. But remember, every Sunday to you go, and then you go and give one Ghana, two Ghana, 20, 50. Uh, ye. Me, I do susu. When the time comes and I have it, I give it to less privilege. Oh, those who don't work. And you saying people will go to my DM and you say, oh, there's susu, give me some. But yes, you take it to a eh? You go and give it to people and then the people will start mocking you and they will tell you they have Rolls Royce. Uh -huh. Yes. I did the susu to motivate all of you. I've started doing my susu again. The time will come, everything will be okay. I'll open my susu and then you see the kind of money I'll have. And then you there, every Sunday, you have money to eat. And then they will tell you, it's go and sow seed for a... God will give us money. We don't have to give God money. God brought us to this world. He will give us money. He says, go, do good. Do good things. Go, do good to mankind. And he will bless you. You are giving God money for what? You are going to give God money. God, God will spend the money. Hey. Charlie. Let's think. Oh. If your pastor tells you, I want to buy a car. So do this for me. That one day, he has said it. I want to buy a car. And then the church people knows that God, uh, the, the pastor has been buying fuel to church to preach. So if your pastor comes out and say, I want car. That one, yes, we can donate for our pastor to buy a car. But they shouldn't come and say, so seed for God. For God, you are going to give God money. Eh? And if you don't give God money, problem. Eh? what I'm saying is do good to mankind that is the most important thing do good to mankind go to the orphanage less privilege if you have one Ghana if you have Fanta if you have Coke tell them this is what I have from my heart I know you cannot work this will help you yes today is Sunday So, guys, I'm not saying don't go to church. Go to church, listen to good morals in church. Me, I go to church. I can take the microphone and sing, and my spirit will be okay. I will sing to God. I'm not singing for human. I'm singing for my soul to be happy. When I sing, I can touch people. When people see me with a microphone singing and praising God, they will be touched. It doesn't mean I have to take my money, my savings to give to somebody. My earning, I will give it to somebody who is less privileged. Somebody who needs help. If only I can help. And don't be so stupid that if you have 50 CD and somebody asks you 50 CD because you say you are good, you give the 50 CD to the person and then you go hungry. If you have 50 CD and somebody asks you for 50 CD, tell the person, I cannot give you all the 50. I can give you 20 or I can give you 10 and I'll keep the rest because that is all I have. If you have 100 and the person asks you 50 and you feel you can give the person 50, give the person the 50. Yes, that is how we live. You save money. 
you do good to others. Uh -huh. So that is how it works. Today is Sunday. I'm here to motivate you. Uh -huh. When that go, when you go to the church, and the pastor says, "I need money for this church. Help me." That one, the pastor, the pastor have said the truth. He said he needs money for this, for this, for this, for this. That one. He voiced it out you can help the person but when the person comes out and say god say you should give this 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 me i will advise you don't give i'll advise you when the pastor says i need money to buy a car so i can come to the church to preach that one the pastor said he wants this and that one, oh, yambo a osofu no. Na on koto ka, no unti mimbe preachi yeng. That one, yes. But I don't want anybody to come and stand in the church and tell people, you are giving this to God. Nobody is giving anything to God. When you help the less privileged, is you are you are giving it to god because when you help somebody to the and the person succeed if you open a business for somebody to succeed in life you are the person's god we are living in the physical world when you help somebody when you help somebody and the person succeed in life you are the person's God. Uh -huh. So you can write whatever you want to write. You can write insults. You are blind. Me, I'm motivating you this Sunday. Yes, I. When you wake up, pray to God. We have pastors there. You can see them. They will pray to God for you. If you don't know how to pray, go and see the man of God who knows the Bible. He will preach you. Yes. Uh, just be there. I'm not defending evil. I'm giving you morals. If you want, you can take it. If you want, don't take it. Me, I give my money to the less privileged. I help people. And this thing is working for me. So I'm sharing it to you. Today is Sunday. I can go to church and go there, sit down. I'll listen to the good ones. Aha. So, in Ule Monko. Daga. Yeah. Ah. It doesn't mean I don't go to church. Me, I go to church. When I go to church, the, the pastor preaches. I will listen to the good ones. Yes. And then it will benefit my life. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Today is Sunday. I have workers who are working for me. I have to go and work. If I have nothing to do, I will go to the church and listen to the word of God. Eh? Eh, the truth always hurt you, Charlie. Eh? Ah. Hey. Yeah. How can you tell me you cannot donate blood? 
how can you tell me you cannot donate blood because religion said somebody shouldn't donate blood and you know your person is dying and the person needs blood you say your religion doesn't donate blood and then you leave the person to die you leave the person to die because your religion said you shouldn't donate blood when the person dies i would not feel pity for the person because you know the person needs blood and because your religion says the person shouldn't donate blood you leave the person to die i will not support this i will not support this i will not support this you know your person your, your somebody is dying and the person needs blood from you you will say your religion doesn't say you should donate blood so you leave the person to die hey i won't do this i will not do this me i'll tell you this story a classmate of mine died because the husband said their religion said they shouldn't donate blood and then he left the wife to die because of blood donation blood donation who because your religion is that you shouldn't donate blood and you know the doctor said if the person gets blood the person is going to survive and because of because your religion says you shouldn't donate blood you left your wife to die and you want me to feel pity hey and these people i'm talking about they know themselves they know the religion i'm talking about they know it They know it. Those who don't donate blood, they know it. Hey, people even go to hospital to donate blood to save lives. And because your religion was... Charlie? Hey. And then I know the person needs blood. And because of my religion, I should leave the person to die. Just like that. And when a person dies, you expect me to be sad? You know you have to donate blood for the person to survive. Because your religion says you shouldn't donate blood, you leave the person to die. All in the name of religion. Charlie, today is Sunday. God bless you. I've spoken. If you want, you can take it. If you want, you leave it. But my message is when you have and you feel you can donate, donate to the less privilege. When you wake up in the morning, pray for health. Pray for health. Pray for long life. God bless everybody. As I said, riches, money, everything in somebody's life is bonus. Pray for health. Work hard. All these things will come naturally. If it has to, if it's meant to be. Amen.